Hey, what's going on guys? We're back today and we're going to do some more Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked battles. Uh, the last video we didn't really kind of, they gave us a win on one because pers a person dropped out and we lost one. But we'll count it as a win and a lose, so hopefully today we can get a couple wins. Um, we're going to use the same team as last time, but we're going to probably start with some different, um, different first strings here. Still at rank one. Let's see. You know what? Our goal for this video. Let's see if we can get one rank higher. Let's see if we can. I think if we get two wins, it'll bump us up one. I think my team is actually pretty decent. I think we just need to make sure we're we're leading, doing the right leads, and I think we need to maybe do some better predicting. I'm not always the best at predicting what the opponent's gonna do, but that just takes practice. Jonathan. We're going to play against Jonathan. Good luck, Jonathan. Okay. So the Dracovis is obviously a threat. Excadrill is not too bad. Tyranitar is kind of rough. I'm guessing for like a... I'm guessing if he's doing a sand team, he's going to do Tyranitar, Excadrill, but I don't know if he will. This is a toughie. We'll bring Darmanitan in the back. We'll just see what happens. Maybe we made the wrong choices. Maybe we didn't. We'll find out, though. I was close. He did go for the sand stream, which is gonna kind of it's gonna kind of hurt us a little bit because it, it's gonna kind of kill Butterfree's Focus Sash unless it gets used first turn. We're gonna Sleep Powder Dracovish, and then we're gonna first turn. We're gonna first turn Max Knuckle. Um, because we're, we're going to try and get as much attack boost on Rhyperior as possible. Ooh, withdraw, okay. Crobat, okay. That's, ooh, a shiny Crobat, that's cool. And he activated my weakness policy, which was not a good choice on his part. Bad prediction on his part, but I didn't predict the safety goggle pro bats, so I can't really take too much on that. So if there's anybody watching that's not like a Pokemon type player that's just watching for maybe interest or why maybe that's one of my friends just being supportive, um, the item I had on Rhyperior was called a weakness policy, which sends it back out. So the weakness policy I had on Rhyperior means if I get hit by a move that is supposed to be like type effective, I get a plus two in attack. So now I'm up to plus three attacks. And Rhyperior is kind of the perfect Pokemon because my ability makes super effective moves do less. So, um, let's try the Sleep Powder again, I guess. No, let's take the Rage Powder. Let's take the heat off Rhyperior and just keep doing the Max Knuckle. Just keep getting the attack boost. 
guess. Well, I don't even know what I'm guessing on this one. Dracovish, probably. Yeah. That's okay. Geyser Rhyperior, which probably would have done quite a bit. So we kind of saved him there. And he sped himself up. That's smart. Maybe we'll get a really lucky critical hit. Nah, we didn't. We did not get a lucky critical hit. We're up to plus four attack. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I should have trick roomed first. That's my bad. Now that I'm looking at this, I should have done that. If I would have trick roomed right here, you're definitely win this right here. I'm gonna max guard and just waste his Dynamax turns. Ooh, with Drew Crobat, is he gonna predict the Icicle Crash? Kind of, yeah. Hmm, that's rough. He's in a really good spot here. Maybe we can get lucky and he'll miss, but I'm pretty sure if he hits Rhyperior with that guy, so we're out. Mm, and then we're gonna we're gonna lose that move. That's rough. I felt like we uh, were doing really good at the beginning of this, and then we kind of took a turn for the worst. I think that's his last Dynamax turn. It all comes down to my little pork gun. survived it. And his tail when petered out? Hmm. This could be the comeback of the year. We'll see. God, he's still at a third. Mm. I didn't predict it, but I did hit that slot with Thunderbolt, which is going to be super effective, so that's actually pretty good for me. It looks like I just did an amazing predict, and I really didn't. I really didn't. I can't. I can't take credit for that. Okay, 
this is this is all really gonna hinge on who moves first. Because no matter who moves first. Wow, they're both super effective. No matter who moves first, they're taking out Darmanitan. If I can get a hit in the Darmanitan before he goes down, I might have it. Out. That might kill me. <laughs> but he doesn't get to take out the Darmanitan, and I really thought he would. And he can't use the fake out again. This is. This could be it right here. Either way, this is a really fun battle. I don't like... I love close battles like this. I don't like when you completely just wreck the other person. I really like having, like, a nice... Like, a close battle. I knew that was coming. So close. If I survive whatever attack he sends out, I could do it might happen. I think I win. Can't use fake out. No, nope, doesn't work like that, bud. There we go. That was close. That was really close. GG's to Jonathan though. That was such a good battle. Honestly, I'm not even gonna do another one. I'm just gonna call that video with that because that was amazing that was such a fun battle battles like that are what i like like i like not knowing if i'm gonna win till the last round like it hypes me up received a comet shard i'm gonna quit battling but we're gonna go in and update our rank and just see where we are oops Probably one more win and we actually uh, have rank two, so that's that's awesome. That was such a fun battle. I'm really hype on that battle. <sighs> okay, well, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching that. I'll, as always, like, comment, subscribe, anything. Uh, yeah, and we'll definitely be back with more ranked Pokemon battles. Thanks, guys.